the placement of v stone widget in this advanced question is really really interesting and you can solve the network the effective resistance of the network easily by applying the concept of balanced v stone widget hi dear students welcome back to jee advanced pyq question discussion series today we have a question from chapter current electricity in the following circuit the current through the resistor r is equal to 2 ohm is i ampere the value of i is we need to find the current through 2 ohm resistor see the current which is passing through this 2 ohm resistor is same as the current which comes out from the cell because there is no junction in between the resistance and the cell so net current which comes out from the battery i is equal to emf divided by effective resistance effective resistance is a sum of internal resistance and effective external resistance but in the given data there is no internal resistance so internal resistance is negligibly small you can neglect then the current i is equal to emf divided by effective resistance so to calculate the current we need to find out the effective resistance of the network finding effective resistance of the network is not an easy task but applying a simple concept that you already learned to the question then the question is no longer a difficult one see here here uh, these two resistors are connected in between a and b and also these two resistors are connected in between a and b they are parallel to each other you just pause the video and just try to calculate the effective resistance of the network okay okay let us continue see these two resistor the effective resistance uh, before that these two resistors these two resistors and these two resistors are parallel to each other and the ratio of these two resistor 2 divided by 4 is 1 by 2 and here is 1 divided by 2 is also 1 by 2 the ratios are same so this is an example for balanced v stone bridge this is a balanced v stone bridge this is the bridge and if the resistors the ratio of resistance are equal then the uh, v stone bridge is balanced then the potential of these two point will be same potential difference will be zero and there is no current which is passing through this eight ohm resistor so you can remove that eight ohm resistor and here this two one and two is series effective will be three and this two and four is series and effective will be six and the six and three are parallel and the effective will be bigger 1 6 divided by 1 plus ratio 6 by 3 is 2 and 6 divided by 3 and the effective resistance is 2 ohm you can replace the diagram you can replace the network with the effective value 2 ohm resistor see so the effective resistance of this combination is 2 ohm and you can redraw the diagram like this here here we have a 6 ohm resistor and a 10 ohm resistance here we have an effective resistance the value of effective resistance is 2 ohm so you can redraw this diagram 6 resistance 6 ohm resistance here 10 ohm is here see here we have 6 here we have 10 6 is here 10 is here and the effective resistance of the balanced v stone bridge is 2 ohm so you can redraw the diagram like this if you look at the network again you can see a balanced v stone bridge wow see these two resistor this 2 ohm and the 4 ohm is connected in between these two points. Let us name it as A and B. Here, the 6 ohm and 12 ohm resistance are also connected in between A and B. Here also you can see a V stone bridge. See, here the ratio of resistance 6 divided by 12 is 1 by 2 and 2 divided by 4, 4 is also 1 by 2 and this is a balanced v stone bridge and this 10 ohm resistor is a bridge resistor and the potential difference across the 10 ohm resistor will be zero and no current passing through the 10 ohm resistor you can remove the 10 ohm, res 10 ohm resistance because it is a balanced v stone bridge see 2 and 4 are series effective will be 6 6 and 12 are series effective will be 18 and 18 and 6 are parallel to each other then effective resistance will be r effective is equal to bigger one divided by one plus ratio ratio 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3 so 18 divided by 4 that is 9 divided by 2 is the effective resistance of this network and here we have a 2 ohm resistor which is series to this effective network and the total resistance of the network r effective is equal to r effective is equal to r effective is equal to 2 plus 9 divided by 2 so you can write it as 4 by 2 plus 
9 by 2 and that is equal to 13 divided by 2 that is 6.5 ohm. This is the effective resistance of the network. See, the placement of V-stone bridge in this advanced question is really, really interesting. And you can solve the network, the effective resistance of the network easily by applying the concept of balanced V stone bridge. Okay, and the effective resistance is 6.25 ohm. And the current <coughs> which comes out from the battery will pass us through the 2 ohm resistor, and the current which is passing through 2 ohm resistance is I is equal to EMF divided by resistance. EMF is equal to 6.5. Wow, and effective resistance is also 6.5. Value of current is 1 ampere. So, the value of I is 1 ampere. That is the answer of the question, previous year question, JE Advanced 2015. I hope all the things are very clear to you. Thank you so much. This is JB from Silent Learning. Bye and all the best. See you again.